Hello again. It's uh, been some time since I made uh, a, a video. Um, I've been busy on lock side, altering track, etc., and some scratch building. And as you can see uh, in front of uh, camera at the moment is a uh, double track uh, road bridge made out of a single uh, road bridge. Um, very much put together with my two favourite scratch building items. Um, first of all, the coffee stirrers. These are available for just over two pounds on eBay, 200, and you can buy them for as little as 100. And also a cat food box. Now, whether it's uh, Whiskers, Felix, or any of the others, they have a remarkable strength in the board. Are easy to uh, cut, and uh, as I'll show you. Um, have a variety of uses in uh, in modelling, particularly where you're going to um, uh, stick paper or printed paper that you've downloaded various either brick papers, etc., etc., um, onto. Um, to just to show you what the strength is on these, this is an open one with all the pouches missing, um, and it will take quite easily a 10 kilo cat litter bag. The reason I say cat litter is that depending on the brand you can also use cat litter in a variety of ways. Um, as an example this is white useful for limestone could be used for a wagon load etc. Now that's a, a white one. A lot of it does come grey which is uh, a bit dreary uh, but there's also this one is pink pinky but very very fine um, has a nice smell to it because it's been sanitised anybody's got use for any kind of pinky type ballast um, again that's one to look out for so if you have a friend who is a cat lover and buys pouches, please ask them to save the boxes. So, stirrers, cat boxes, and also matches. All come in handy, and I'll show you at the end of this video how I've adapted the um, items for use in my layout. Also, I suggest you hold on to the sprues that come with kits because they can be very useful for infilling um, as I'll show you uh, shortly. So items that cost next to nothing uh, and are very very effective. As you can see uh, I've constructed this and adapted it from uh, a, a kit. Um, I've also used Metcalf stick-on paving slabs which I think are quite effective. This is going to be at one end of the layout now uh, hiding unfortunately second radius curves so inside it has been angled to take into account the curve going round but if I turn this round you can see it's made up entirely of card uh, both the, the, the cards that just mentioned 160 gram 250 grams but also very effectively with Yuhu the um, the cat food uh, cartons. Um, also using the uh, stirrers as support. As you can see on that one there if you just sort of break it but don't go through it you can click it, uh, you can uh, use it as a support that way or here I've used it as a support horizontally and also uprights so that it keeps the coping stones together. Just turn it around further, as you can see, you can use it as support legs um, and also any m manner of ways of sticking together to make this uh, a, a very sturdy model. So the other aspect to this is what you can do with the with the uh, the uh, stirrers and the the box. Just to show you how thick it is I use this for platforms 
uh, use it for signs and also you can bend it and you can make supports very very good the other thing that you can do with the stirrers and this is one I've already made is uh, to make uh, timber trusses um, not difficult just cut them to start with at the angle you want stick them together with, uh, with yuhu or a similar glue and then afterwards the beauty of this is you don't really even need a modelling knife you can cut straight through so you've got a nice a nice edge that you can then paint as your your roof truss very very simple the cost of that is absolutely next to nothing just finish up one there and finish up one there so you can make as many as you like you can make a it might be advisable if you're going to make a lot to make a jig um, but in effect there's your roof truss you can actually file it down if you want and that will go in the building just cut the end off there and there we have a roof truss ready for painting so also attached to the bridge I can show you this is an extension that I've made where I've wanted to make some uh, some uh, abutment the, uh, the slope of the, the ground and the grass which I will then cover in, uh, in scatter materials and I've made this separately uh, basically because of wanting to put plaster which is the mod rock type plaster bandage and not wishing to actually get the mess all over the existing paper bear in mind that it's quite wet and watery um, watery that's a funny, uh, a funny phrase but there we go um, as you can see you can make this any angle you like and uh, it is extremely strong so uh, this one then fits um, if I turn this round it will then fit with that item stuck in there that piece stuck on there and the bottom piece on the outside it will then actually all sit together and then I can put the carry on with the roadway and the slabs so this is what it looks like together and you'll see when I see, show you the finished article perhaps in another video how this matches in with the existing um, embankment on my layout Lockside. Um, Lockside has had three or four changes since I started it two, two or three years ago um, the latest change uh, was to remove um, a couple of tracks and sidings and the, uh, we replace it with an oil depot which is currently in progress um, and if anyone likes to see photographs or um, videos these are on YouTube um, just look up Lockside L-O-C-H-S-I-D-E or Mountford Mountford Parkway Mountford on Sea are also the videos also uh, photographs um, can be found on the Facebook group model railway photo group um, and uh, recently um, there were photos of the removal of the track and ballast at Lockside waiting uh, replacement so I'll stop the video now and then we'll go in and see what uh, what I've actually done. welcome back to the second part of this video um, and this is what uh, I've completed using the card and uh, the stirrers this is the new oil depot with the three uh, pipelines for um, unloading the heavy fuel oil. The building at the end again is made from the cat box, both the um, covered with brick paper and also uh, an asphalt type roof. If I turn this over as I've made this separately with card, you can see how the stirrers have been used quite successfully to blend the well not blend to to merge two separate uh, items of card uh, length and uh, and width so this is separately separate unit with uh, these have not been stuck down yet the uh, the pipes because they've got to be further weathered also 
Um, just going back to what I said about the mod rock, this is the end of the existing um, bridge uh, scenery and then the parapet uh, will go in there um, with the scatter materials and uh, plenty of uh, covering there. Further use of the uh, stirrers is in the permanent way signal trunking. Uh, the original is by, uh, I think it's ratio uh, or wheels, and then if you come along all you need then is to be able to do it yourself, um, take the stirrers, um, when I said about the sprues, just cut down slightly the width of the stirrer with the scissors, it's very easy to, uh, to do, it peels off nice and smoothly, um, and then using one stirrer, um, place the uh, little square sprues or a matchstick as a sort of uh, assistance as a like a, um, a wedge and then screw and then uh, um, use your yoohoo to uh, uh, glue the bottoms together once completed um, it will then be painted in uh, concrete um, concrete uh, acrylic or enamel and then finally just with a sharp knife just uh, score across the top so that you can uh, actually uh, see the outline of the of the capping so moving further on the platform also includes a lot of the stirrers and also card and uh, another aspect is these packing cases made as you can see just by um, gluing them together and painting them brown so any manner if you wanted to you could put a, a, a match stick down the middle to make it easier but uh, any manner of ideas can be used uh, to uh, to um, make and scratch build for next to nothing so I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little video of um, what's available with the stirrers and the and the uh, cap boxes and I look forward to uh, um, producing another video in the near future thank you for watching